Not anymore, get you. No place. That's right. He delivered us from heresies, adhering only to God's ways. He delivered us from envyings, which we love kindness. God's loving kindness when it's shed abroad in our heart. Whenever we see goodness come upon other people, we'll be joyful and glad yes, for them. Yes, yes. You see, there too many Christians, I've seen many Christians, I've seen it many times. <clears throat> you let the preacher get a new trick. I ain't paying no more time. He don't matter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the book I read out loud calls that envy. Amen. I don't know what your book calls, but the book I read out loud calls that envy. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Murders. He delivered us till we want life. Right. I want life for those around me. I don't want to destroy your influence. I want you to be a child of God who's influential to everybody else because you see there may come a time when I need you to speak to my loved ones and they may need your influence but if I kill your influence before you can speak to them come on. I murder them, you and them. Amen. That's right, amen, amen. We were delivered from drunkenness to loving soberness. We were delivered from revilings, which means that we'll lift up other people. We won't go around putting people down. You know, my mother always taught me that if I could at least think of something to, good to say, and I can't say I always took her advice, but she always told me that if I couldn't think of something good to say, to just be quiet, don't say nothing. But you see, that takes a lot of effort on the flesh, don't it? Come on. This ain't real fun than that. Oh, no. I've got something to say. Don't make me shut up. <laughs> but you see, it's time for God's church to get real. we got to get to the church to where it don't matter what people think so much as what it, God Susie. knows about us that really Amen. doesn't matter we got to get to the place of where what God knows about us is as evident to us as it is when we stand in the mirror and look at our mess of hair in the morning. Yes. Sometimes our life gets all messed up like that, we as Christians. And the thing to do is to go back and start tearing off those little foxes, start ripping them off and throwing them down, trampling them under the blood once again so that we can get into the will of God. Glory.